Hello, my name is Russell Lewins and today I'd like to introduce a technique that is conducive to nervous system health uh, and of course what follows that is emotional and physical well-being. So the technique is called the basic exercise and it was devised by an American called Stanley Rosenberg, one of the world's leading physical therapists. It's a simple exercise, it will just take um, a couple of minutes for me to lead us through it and to demonstrate it. Um, but first I'd, I'd like to give some background information, uh, just some context um, to help explain um, the mechanism in, in very basic outline um, and the rationale and the theory behind uh, the effectiveness of this technique. Many, many, many people find it um, very effective. So we know that when our nervous system is triggered into fight, flight and freeze that a number of changes happen to the body. Now one of these is that the um, C1 and C2 vertebrae um, or as they're sometimes referred to as the atlas or axis vertebrae, so these are right at the top of the um, cervical spine. So when the fight, flight and freeze, part of the mechanism for the fight, flight and freeze uh, response being triggered is that there's a slight tilting um, and movement in these vertebrae that affects the flow of blood in the vertebral artery, which provides, um, it's one of the ways that the, the, the brain, particularly the brainstem, uh, receives blood supply. So this movement in the vertebrae restricts the amount of blood uh, passing through it, like, like a garden hose would, you know, if you compressed a garden hose. And the effect, one of the effects of that is that it takes um, blood away from certain parts of the brain that might uh, complicate or inhibit uh, the full effectiveness of fight, flight, and free. So for, for example, in a fight situation, um, we don't particularly need um, the full functioning of the prefrontal cortex um, to analyze, um, reflect, plan, and so on. So it just enables blood to go to um, the parts of our system, the arms and the legs, uh, and so on, that will, will, will maximize our survival chances in that situation. So it's very helpful, this tightening here, um, to help mobilize the body uh, for the best success uh, in those um, life-threatening scenarios. In terms of our everyday life, as we know, the fight mechanism can be triggered, the flight mechanism can be triggered, uh, that more kind of shut down, uh, freeze, uh, lack of energy, enthusiasm and apathy can be triggered and it can be triggered in situations where um, it's unhelpful. So it could be the arising of an emotion within and we, we experience this contraction of being as different parts of us go online um, and different parts of us go offline. And it can also, when it is triggered, the fight, flight and freeze system, it can stay triggered uh, for hours or even even days um, so we can stay anxious and tense and restless uh, whilst we're sitting by a pool in the sun um, because of something that maybe happened two days ago the system struggles to reset itself um, and find its way back to a resting or it what's often talked about as a regulated state so the basic exercise um, goes the other way in a sense. What the basic exercise does is that um, it uses this understanding of the um, uh, movement in the um, C1 and the C2 vertebrae and it helps that area um, become properly aligned so that the blood flow can flow fully through and that then helps to bring the whole of us online. And there are various um, emotional and physical benefits to that, as well as the regulation 
of organs in our body is uh, improved. So it's very conducive to overall uh, health and well-being. So here's the um, exercise for you to try out. So firstly, uh, I recommend that you find a comfortable position where you're well supported. You can do this um, technique either sitting up or lying down. So here I'm going to demonstrate it just for the video purposes sitting up. So allow your sitting bones to be anchored into the chair you're sitting on and get a good alignment, balanced and upright. And then the first stage is just simply to rotate the head and just noticing its range of comfortable movement without strain or discomfort on both sides. So just noticing the range of movement there as your head and neck rotates. So this engages amongst other things, the C1 and the C2 vertebrae at the top of the cervical spine. And then we interlace the fingers we place them behind our head and we can feel the pressure of how the interwoven fingers and the hands are holding the back of our head. We can feel the contact there, feeling the weight against our hands. And this is an important part is we want to keep the head motionless. So we just want the head to be in a um, looking ahead position as it is currently shown here. And we just move the eyes. So it doesn't matter which side we go to first, but I'm going to turn my eyeballs to look to my left so for me I can see the corners of my elbows so we're not trying to strain the eyes here or move more than is comfortable and then we just sit and pay attention to how our body is And then one of three things may happen. We may have a sigh, which I just had. A yawn may come or a swallow. We just allow that to happen. And then after a minute or so, we just return to the centre and look ahead. I quite like to spend a bit of time here just kind of allowing myself to just experience myself looking fully ahead. And then we rotate the eyes to the other side, again, not straining, just going as far as is comfortable. And you may notice a difference in the range of movement with the eyeballs here from one side to the other. There's one of my sides. So we let the system just do spontaneously whatever it might want to do. It may be that you notice no sigh, yawn or swallow and that's fine. And then after a minute or so we just come back to the centre again and we look ahead. And then we bring the hands down. And then we can just explore what our range of movement is now at ease. So I can look quite a bit further to my left in that range. Just come back to the centre, just balance myself looking ahead so I don't feel dizzy. And then I just move to the right. And there's a little bit more I think on that side. 
and then coming back to the center. And just noticing how your being is now. So you may find your breathing's a bit freer. You may feel a little bit more ease or confident in yourself. The voice tone may change. There may be a bit more appetite for life and engagement, for social engagement and other kinds of engagement. And you may notice other benefits as well as the system is in a more resourced and online state. So this is a technique I just invite you to try. Um, I do it particularly at times when I'm feeling contracted. So if I'm feeling dull and listless, um, a bit shut down, I'll lie down. Uh, I prefer to do it lying down. Um, and um, I also do it if I'm feeling a, a little bit kind of racy or, or um, at the other end of the, um, at the sympathetic end of the nervous system. Um, and anxious and I just do the basic exercise you know up to a minute on each side and I find it a really powerful uh, technique so try it out as for all these um, techniques that I'll be sharing over time um, some are likely to work more effectively um, than others it's also the case that it might be that you, 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 you could try this technique over a number of days um, as a trial. So give it, give it some time um, just to allow your system to get, to get used to it. But I hope it's of benefit. And feel free to share your experience of this practice in the comments section below. Take care.